Cyclops. Mario, well. Yeah, he's been more picking up on the, uh, the Mario, I should say, but he's actually practicing that Claw Bucky. We have once again on that snake. On to. What is this? Oh, this is Loser Sentence. So we'll get that fixed in just a moment, but right now we're already starting to begin this one. Mario just having to navigate this barrage of grenades, already taking 69 damage after that F tilt. Oh yeah, this is going to be a very difficult path to get around and just find, trying to find a grab or at least a backer to work with, but Zenyu is given zero opportunities whatsoever. He just is renewing this assault. Even when Zenyu manages to get in, Zenyu can just have that frame one combo breaker grenade right there. Yeah, but they both take damage in round now. They're basically even, so it does work out in favor. Oh my god, that could have been a spike, but he lands right on top of the C4. He wasn't paying attention, so that's going to be a stock over at P. It's definitely going to be happy with that one. Yeah, that's one mental lapse, and you can tell Zenyu frustrated with himself there because he had that juggle going, and all of a sudden, P able to reverse the situation and continue this. Yeah, he's able to do so much, and Grenade is down once more. He's going to carry his own, but this is going to be such a tough wall to get over. He's trying to use that air, but the Grenade instantly coverages, and a great confirm from it. He's got it, and he's going to explode with the Grenade, but not going to digest yet. 146. This thing is super high as percentage. Throwing down the Nikita, and great usage of that falling missile to just protect himself as he goes back. Grenade covered the left part. So much action happening in two. This match, 161, Nikita even used as well, but he's going to successfully recover. And the downer, not even that's going to kill just yet. He's landing right there. Yeah, perfectly spaced out. 84% of the Zenyu, but one grab can quickly even this match up, so he's got to be careful down here. Into another one, the Blender coming into play, but Zenyu's got to be careful. He's got to make sure to navigate and make sure that his back airs don't clank with any grenades whatsoever, or else he'll be in big trouble. But look at this combo, already starting strong on the stock. As in the grab, not quite in the percent where he can true combo into up tilt, but very close approaching it now. Air dodge used, but he aren't able to find anything but the up air. We'll find it's Mark Zenyu losing another stock, but this time he's only at 62. Goes back, once again finds the back air, that'll leave him on top of the platform. He doesn't necessarily have a C4 placed in a strategic position right now, so might take a bit of time to do that. Well, and here comes the two frame attempt, not going to land, and Mario find his way in once more. Such a difficult matchup, and Snake on the growl. Zenyu is just doing his best, trying to get on top of something, even shielding out the Cypher, but Still no fruit to his labor and the up tilt. Not gonna kill just yet. That seems a little way too early. But then you still gotta play the patient game. Oh my goodness. I mean, I was just thinking at him. Yeah? Just rubbing the chin. What, what are you doing? What are you doing? Trying to push me? Let, let me just ponder that mistake for you. Let's let's yeah. rewind that. Did you just try to contest my up tilt? My gun? Hmm. By the way, I just won a money match. Mario! Random stage, random hero, and yeah, he get off of that Lucina, get back on that snake. And Zenyu definitely gonna be trying to think of a game plan in his mind. Yeah, on paper, this matchup not too bad for Mario, but he needs to find that opening, and he did such a great job of shutting him out, especially when Zenyu tried to land on top of the platforms, knowing that he already had the stage covered, probably with a grenade or C4, or in some cases, both. Because Mario really wants to use his back air, knowing it's super safe on shield, only being minus two. But when Snake's holding a grenade, that quickly becomes Snake's combo, so he's got to watch out for that one. Doing his best is there, trying to get something, but exactly, the frame one grenade is posing some problems already. I like that one. I like it as well. I know that that C4 was probably strategically placed to prevent mm. the start of an up tilt up air ladder, but you really can't get anything going if you're saying oh you're my god! in the face of that up air from Key. Key, my goodness. That is correct. He is such a good snake, and the confirm coming into play. Zenyu seeing me try to get something down, but the Nikita could be used. Zenyu hot on the approach. And after there's one thing, snake recovery is quite linear, and if we're able to hit with a strong enough move that doesn't get armored right through it, you've got a big chance of edge guarding him. Yeah, Mario back air is just so lagless, able to throw it out with pretty much impunity against snake's recovery. Doing so well right now, but he with that dash attack gonna clip him up for a little more damage, trying to get away from this one, but let's grab the grenade, and now he is grenadeless, but as soon as I say that, oh, great roll away to avoid that grenade and a great tech chase in knowing that he was either going to take the grenade or that attack instead, but Key definitely picking up, and a great ledge trump 
utilizing the cape in order to get it, but he almost got the schmix once more, but still, no reward for his actions, and no edge guard key getting spiked out. Yeah, he sealed his own fate with that air dodge there. Zenyu on the prowl and enjoying this stock lead now. And this is where Mario thrives, and a great drag down there attempt, but Zenyu saw it coming, and a failed air dodge. Zenyu takes game number two, but my goodness, still a close match, and Key had to SD in order for it to win. Yeah, it looked like an even match until the very end there. He just made one mental error and it all fell down from there. That air dodge put him directly into a place where Zenyu had pretty much free reign to go for an aerial. And even if, even if he missed the fair, which he didn't, he's fine. He's still in advantage. So as we move into game three, it's going to bring about the same stage in PS2. He and Zenyu tied at a game apiece. Yeah, they're tied up, and Zenyu adapting to use the down air instead of the back air. At least the multi hits will try to grab something gun. And he knew he was going to take the platform, but did not know which direction he was going. That shield getting off the close, but look at this back air pressure. One up air not quite going to connect, and shield. Did he tomahawk the shield? He might have. He actually tomahawked the shield. He tomahawked the grenade, I should say. Making sure to avoid it, and nicely uh, sour spot coming into play. The key able to grab onto the ledge, but 127. This is Zenyu right now downloading his opponent. You cannot neutral get up in that situation. Zenyu had that up smash almost half charged. Oh it's always a pleasure watching Zenyu play Mario. It's such good. He's such a different style. Even in Smash 4, he really stapled and why he's such a so he's so different. And right now he's doing a great job. He just needs to extend this lead, but key, he's no sleeper either. Up tilt, and that'll give Key the opportunity to put a C4 on top of the left Ooh. platform. Ooh, that's gotta hurt, but great B reversal. Zen, you don't make sure to do a neutral getup and great up points for him throwing the grenades there, and he knows that Snake loves to shield. And look at this up air string. Won't kill just yet, but maximum damage acquired. Yeah, he took that opportunity to just be reverse the C4 pull, but he has to find some way back from the lights. That up smash is gonna connect. Yeah, he's fine though, using the grenade to buy himself some time. And he's gonna use the get up attack trading, but that's kind of worth it if you really think about it. It's a little more damage off and key at 95%, but we know what Snake can do. He can explode damage right back at you. Yeah, I like the idea of theoretically using the flood to just push away key from the ledge, but he is able to go right back there. And when you're trading like that, when the grenade's already out, you know you're taking damage and you're gonna have to attempt the recovery again. It just becomes less worth it. Yeah, almost smacked out the cypher, but same mistake. Fool me one, shame on me, fool me twice. Key, you're dead again. Carry on the down air though. Yeah, Set up. Yeah. This time he jumps almost into the up smash. Yeah, but thankfully does avoid it. But snake disadvantage is quite difficult, I assume, especially when you're a stock because you don't want to take all that percentage. But definitely key is just fishing for it and he gets exactly what he needs. Yeah, not a moment too soon. You cannot afford to fall too far behind, especially when these trades will no longer be beneficial. But right now, at about even percent, so only about 20% down, you can afford to take some of these grenade trades. Uh, oh no, here comes the combo. Great confirmations up air, up air into the back air. Combo by Key. No, great combo by Zenyu, I should say, on Key, but Key, he's still got a lot of life into him. 96%. There's nothing for Snake, especially since he is quite a heavy character, and Zenyu still has to find a way in. That tilt is going to air dodge back safely this time. Back air. Still living. Oh. Three up smashes, three times, three stops. It's going to be in favor of Zenyu. Zenyu. Great job. Yeah, that up tilt in the wrong direction may have just cost him that final game. Mm -hmm. Wasn't going to kill on top of the platform at 59%, and Zenyu was just all too happy to throw out the up smash afterward. Mm -hmm. Looks like he is going to be throwing in some earbuds, I should say. We're trying to get that music on, because this is definitely the potential last game for him in this scenario. But Zenyu, we're showing, we're, it's showing how quickly he can adapt. He is an adaptive monster, first of all, I should say. Yeah, he, of course, Snake main does have a Ken, does have a hero if he wants to pull out either of them, but he is going to stay with Snake. Yeah, I think the Snake's working. It's just that Zenyu is finding ways to weave his arrows around the grenades and the shields and making sure to punish the fact that a key, when he's in that disadvantage state, my goodness, he just gets run over. And that's exactly what Zenyu does best. But look at that easy combo. 36% off of that grenade confirmed. Yeah, connecting all four hits of that downer, it does more than 22% if the full combo connects. It's crazy, down near out of shield is as fast as Bowser's up the out of shield. It does even more. But this time, 
I love how Zen Yu is being patient with this arrow, seeing if he's going to pick out a grenade or not, taking sure not to overextend, but in scenarios like that, he does pay. Is that a reverse up air? Yeah, it did hit. Time with a grenade. Oh my and god. Actually, going to do the combo breaking for him. Mm -hmm. Zen Yu unable to find his way in. Leaning around the grenades, and actually, he getting blown up by his own. He's going to give the window of opportunity that Zen Yu needs, and the cape doesn't come out in time. It's away from it. Past ledge, but now he's just eliminated that option, and. Great spot dodge into the up tilt. Yeah, Zen Yu waited a little more. He should have known that he was going to go ahead and go for a spot dodge. But he went for a backer of himself and extended his hurt box so that Mario's backer would sweet spot perfectly and send him into the box. Yeah, Zen Yu not even bothering with the left side of the stage after that one, knowing that both grenades and the C4 were already there. Found the backer on the right. He's doing such a great job finding his way around it, but gets thrown off stage. See what Zen Yu's options, it needs tons of damage. The up air kills some sus DI coming into play, but Key fighting back hard. Zen Yu is down to his final stock of game four, and not a moment too soon. You get a lead as Snake, and you're just gonna enjoy all these trades. Yeah, look for how much damage he's doing, forcing these ledge traps. Zen Yu just has to pick his poison and his cards correctly, and great job not reacting in this case, waving his back air and using the grab armor from the grain. Very smart from Zen Yu. But how far will it take him in this stop? Doing the best as he can. That won't kill just yet, but Key's got to be careful in this scenario. Butterfly grenade on the floor. Drops down, caught out by the dash attack, and holding shield even as that grenade explodes. And trying to land the back air. Thankfully, he was able to break for the grab. And the L smash actually kills another moment of some DI that could have been improved upon. But thankfully, Zenyu will take that without much blinking at eye. Key sitting on a clean final stock. After that up tilt, Zenyu at 111. Definitely an up tilt range. He's got to be careful of this attempt. But he, oh, he knew. Oh, but the grenades saved him. It's a blessing and a curse, but grenades do not matter when Key's got the up air to follow up. Even after the second hit of that tilt got interrupted, he just knew where Zenyu's momentum would be taking him. And after that, it was just a matter of reading the DI. Yeah, it came into really big clutch right now. It was able to get it. And do you remember? Zenyu right now is just schmixing everyone in Moses' bracket. And that's going to take us to a decisive game five. Yeah. This is a very difficult matchup for Mario, like when he can't get it. And Key's doing such a great job walling Zenyu out. But when Zenyu finds those small little openings, he runns right him over. Yeah, Zenyu's risk reward evaluations on the fly are absolutely phenomenal. Knows that rolling perhaps into a grenade where if a single solitaire grenade is going to be the most you're taking, as opposed to an entire juggle, that's a trade-off you're going to want to take 10 times out of 10. Yeah, definitely is a trade that you're, it's going to be worth taking. But Zenyu, playing a little more safe, knowing exactly when to strike, and hits up with the grenade, but extends his combo out. Gets a lot more worth in this case, 57% already on key. And that back air didn't hit the grenade, so he's going to be safe for now. But look at that extended hitbox on an up air. Yeah, that up air so active. Once again, connecting all four hits of Dare and drops the C4 Ooh. into the grab. Tech chase, not quite. Yeah, he got it correct, but it was just a delayed, it was a delayed thing that Zenyu did. Trying to hatch out the hand smash, but thankfully he doesn't hit your grenade with that. And he does lose the down tilt, but the up air from Key. I didn't think Snake was an air fighter, but he's making it happen. And not only the up air, the up air out of disadvantage. He just finding ways to turn bad situations into stocks. And right now, oh, it was the soft spot. So no kill just yet, but Keith rolling away from the situation. Snake with Rage is so terrifying to deal with, and Zenyu knows it. He's trying to find a safe opening to find himself in, knowing that he can't make a mistake holding his shield up. And look at all the way Keys is moving. Be reversing the grenade pulls, just rolling in and out. The dash attack gonna clank with there. Any little damage is what he needs, and Air Dodge not read out. He's trying to find an opportunity, but down tilt into the up air. Finally kills at 187. Yeah, found the confirm and not a moment too late. Zenyu definitely not out of this. Only 26% down and already starting to make this up with his throw. Landing the throw combos. He knows that if he throws him, he'll have a better chance instead of hitting his aerial on that shield. Just fine, weaving himself around. Trying to find an opportunity and key. Also, it's really hard in this matchup because Mario is so good at pressing the disadvantage, the advantage I should say, pushing you in disadvantage. But key fell out in that combo, but thankfully the grenade once more saving Zenyu's Life, I should say. That would have been plenty of damage put him in the percent but more throw it off. Oh, they hit him, but it wasn't enough. Yeah, that fireball not quite doing the 12, 13 percent to knock Ooh. it out of the cypher. Oh no, Zenyu got reversal. 
That was such good play by Key, but the down air won't kill him just yet. But Zenyu, he's got to shut down this stock super fast, but he read the roll. We are down to a last stock situation in a last game. Yeah, I had time to react as well with that up smash coming out so fast. This is do or die time for both of them. Eftil putting Zenyu at 36. Doesn't read the cross up, and this time he read the roll that was coming into play. Doesn't get the second down air, but Zenyu. Trying to make this all work, gets away from the shield, perfectly spaces it out, but doesn't see the C4 coming into play. Oh my goodness, such such art and crafted movement coming from both players, but only one of them is going to be able to win. Yeah, this should be Zenyu's moment to strike, knowing that a C4 isn't necessarily placed on the right platform, and you already have key over there. Oh, great air dodge to get away, and he picked up the grenade mid combo, but I didn't find anything that down up tilt. Hits him from behind, that's how big it is. But lands the throw. Here comes the combo that Zenyu desperately needs. He doesn't land the up special, but he's gonna get right back to the ledge. But he's stuck on this corner. How is he supposed to find himself out? Far reaching, disjointed down tilt, actually gonna be forcing him back off the ledge at about a 30% deficit. Tech Chase not gonna find it. Oh my goodness, such a clutch situation, Key. He knows he's needs one up to, but Zenyu is not going to let it go to waste. He lands the up smash, but it's not enough just yet. The C4 misses barely, but the up smash will take it. It will. Zenyu takes it over key in the last game, number five, and we'll be moving on to 